Your EV battery isn't failing. It's protecting itself from permanent damage caused by mistakes most drivers make every single winter morning. Cold weather drops your range by 30%. Driver error drops it by another 20% and slowly destroys battery capacity you'll never recover. The worst part? These mistakes feel normal because they're exactly what car owners did for decades. But lithium-ion chemistry operates under completely different rules. In this video, you'll discover the specific winter behaviors that trigger lithium plating, accelerate degradation, and slash your range in half. More importantly, you'll learn the exact corrections that professional EV fleet managers use to maintain 90% winter range while protecting long-term battery health. Each mistake costs you money. Each solution takes less than two minutes to implement. Never charge a freezing battery. Here's why. This is the single most destructive mistake EV drivers make in winter, and it happens at DC fast chargers across the country every single day. Picture this scenario. You pull up to a supercharger on a freezing morning. Battery is at 15%. Temperature outside reads 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You plug in expecting 150 kilowatts of charging power. Instead, you're getting 18 kilowatts, barely faster than a level two home charger you're paying premium rates for. What's happening inside your battery at this exact moment is permanent damage called lithium plating. When you force high-speed charging into a cold battery, lithium ions can't properly intercalate into the anode structure. Instead, they plate onto the surface as metallic lithium. This plated lithium never returns to active service. It's a permanent loss of capacity that reduces your maximum range forever. The chemical reaction within lithium ion cells slows dramatically below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Internal resistance increases, voltage drops, the battery management system sees these danger signs and immediately restricts charging power to prevent catastrophic damage. Professional EV fleet managers understand this perfectly. They never DC fast charge below 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit battery temperature, not air temperature, actual battery pack temperature. Your battery needs to be at least 10 to 15 degrees Celsius before healthy fast charging becomes possible. Last winter, a Model Y owner in Maine learned this lesson the expensive way. Arrived at a friend's house with 60 miles remaining. Temperature dropped to 10 degrees Fahrenheit overnight. He plugged into a standard 110 volt outlet the next morning. Over 30 minutes, his display range dropped from 60 miles to 55 miles. The outlet couldn't deliver enough power to overcome the energy required just to heat the frozen battery pack. He drove one mile toward the nearest charger. Range dropped from 55 miles to 40 miles. One mile of driving consumed 15 miles of displayed range because the battery was desperately trying to warm itself while also powering the vehicle. He turned around immediately. After driving back, he had roughly 20 miles of range left and realized he couldn't risk another attempt. The solution? He parked in an unheated garage and plugged back into that 110 volt line, hoping ambient garage temperature would help. Three hours later, the battery finally warmed enough to accept the charge. Three days of continuous charging later, he reached 150 miles and could safely drive to a supercharger. This scenario happens because drivers don't understand that charging a frozen battery isn't just slow, it's destructive. Every time you plug into DC fast charging with a cold pack, you're choosing between waiting 20 to 30 minutes for preheating or permanently damaging expensive battery cells. Never skip preconditioning before driving. Most EV drivers completely ignore preconditioning, and it's costing them 20 to 30% of their winter range on every single trip. Without preconditioning, your battery stays too cold when you start driving. Energy consumption immediately skyrockets because you're asking a cold battery to simultaneously power the vehicle, heat itself, and warm the cabin. Regenerative braking barely functions because the battery management system won't allow charging into a cold pack. Range drops drastically within the first few miles. Tesla and most modern EVs include preconditioning features accessible through mobile apps or scheduled departure settings. This feature warms both the battery pack and the cabin while the vehicle remains plugged into your home charger. The critical advantage? You're using the grid power for heating instead of draining the battery you need for driving. Set your departure time the night before. The vehicle automatically begins preconditioning 30 to 40 minutes before you leave, ensuring the battery reaches optimal operating temperature and the cabin is comfortable. You step into a warm vehicle with a fully charged battery that's ready to deliver maximum range. A Tesla owner in Canada tested this rigorously. 
without preconditioning at negative 20 degrees Celsius, his Model 3 consumed 30% more energy during the first 15 minutes of driving. With preconditioning, wall plugged in, he started every trip at optimal temperature and retained 15 to 20% more usable range throughout the day. The difference feels dramatic because it is dramatic. Preconditioning is the single most important feature you can use in winter driving. It costs nothing if you're already charging at home. It takes 30 seconds to program and it prevents the massive energy waste of heating a frozen battery while driving. Don't blast your cabin heat first. Here's the mistake almost every EV driver makes on their first cold morning. They get in, crank the heat to maximum, and watch the range estimation drop like a stone. Cabin heating in an EV draws 3 to 6 kilowatts of power continuously. In freezing temperatures, that's enough energy to heat an entire house. Your battery sees this massive draw and calculates that if you continue using this much power, your range drops by 30 to 40 percent immediately. Gas cars hide this cost because waste engine heat is essentially free. EVs generate almost no waste heat, so every degree of cabin warmth comes directly from battery capacity. This is why winter range drops are so dramatic compared to summer driving. Their solution is remarkably simple and requires zero sacrifice and comfort. Use your seat heaters first, then activate your heated steering wheel if equipped. These features pour heat directly into your body with maximum efficiency and minimum power consumption. A seat heater draws roughly 50 watts. A steering wheel heater uses about 75 watts. Combined, they're consuming 1 20th the power of blasting cabin heat. Once you're comfortable from seat and steering wheel heating, add gentle cabin heat, maybe 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit instead of 75. This maintains comfort without guzzling kilowatts. I tested this approach throughout an entire Canadian winter, using seat heaters and steering wheel heat first, then maintaining moderate cabin temperature. I retained an additional 8 to 12% range on every trip compared to immediately blasting maximum heat. That's 20 to 30 miles of range recovered simply by changing which heating elements active first. Before you continue, hit that subscribe button and click like if you're learning winter EV strategies that'll save you hundreds in charging costs this season. Don't leave your EV sitting outside with low charge. This scenario combines two winter dangers that create a potentially serious problem, freezing temperatures and low state of charge. When your battery drops below 20% and temperatures fall below freezing, your EV enters a protective mode that limits functionality. The vehicle may restrict available power to prevent battery damage. Cabin heating may fail or operate minimally to preserve battery charge. The battery heating system drains more energy than it can generate, creating a negative spiral. Worst case, the vehicle won't start the next morning because the battery management system has locked you out to prevent management damage from attempting to draw power from a frozen depleted pack. The ideal state of charge for overweight winter parking is 40 to 70 percent. This range provides enough buffer that battery heating systems can operate without depleting the pack. It also ensures you have sufficient energy to precondition before departure without compromising range. If you're parking outside in freezing weather and can't plug in, never leave the vehicle below 30% charge. That buffer protects you from the scenario where battery heating overnight drains you below minimum operating threshold. For those with home charging, keep your EV plugged in every night during winter. Even a standard 110 volt outlet helps maintain battery temperature and prevents the deep cold soaking that causes these problems. A level 2 charger solves this completely by providing enough power to actively heat the battery while maintaining full charge. Don't ignore regenerative braking limits. New EV drivers experience genuine shock the first time they drive in freezing weather and discover the regenerative braking has completely disappeared. With cold batteries, regen braking is often severely reduced or entirely disabled. The vehicle feels slippery because that familiar engine braking sensation vanishes. You suppress the accelerator lift off and the car just goes instead of slowing down like you expect. This happens because the battery management system protects your battery by preventing charging when the pack is too cold. Regenerative braking is charging. It's capturing kinetic energy and pushing it back into the battery. A cold battery can't safely accept that charge, so the system disables it completely. This surprises and sometimes frightens drivers who have adapted to one-pedal driving. Suddenly, they're using friction brakes far more than normal. Stopping distances increase, the driving experience feels completely different. The solution is patience and adaptation. 
let the battery warm up during the first 10 to 15 minutes of driving. Drive calmly and use friction brakes more aggressively than normal. As the pack reaches operating temperature, regenerative braking gradually returns. You'll notice a dotted line or indicator showing limited regen on your display. Once that changes to solid, you've regained full regenerative capability. Until then, drive as if you're in a traditional automatic transmission vehicle. If you've preconditioned properly before departure, regenerative braking returns within just a few minutes instead of 15 to 20 minutes of cold driving. Don't expect summer range in freezing weather. Accept this reality right now. Winter EV driving operates under completely different rules than summer driving. Range loss of 15 to 35% is normal and expected in freezing weather. This isn't a defect, it's physics. Multiple factors combine to slash range is simultaneously. Air is denser in cold weather. Increasing aerodynamic resistance, winter tires with aggressive tread patterns create more rolling resistance, the battery pack itself operates less efficiently at low temperatures, delivering less energy per kilowatt hour stored. HVAC usage skyrockets compared to mild weather, when you might use nothing at all. Norwegian testing of 23 different EV models in winter conditions showed dramatic variance. The Hi-Fi Z lost only 5.9% of rated range. Tesla's Model 3 lost nearly 30%. The Ford F-150 Lightning consumed 49% more energy per 100 kilometers than rated. But here's the critical insight most drivers miss. With proper winter habits, you can retain 80 to 90% of your usual range even in harsh conditions. Preconditioning before driving, warming the pack before charging, use interior heating strategically, and avoid dropping below 20% of charge in winter. Keep the car plugged in whenever possible. These habits work together to minimize the controllable range losses while accepting the avoidable physics of cold weather operation. You won't match summer range, but you also won't experience the dramatic 40 to 50% drops that make headlines when unprepared drivers run into problems. Do this instead. Winter EV driving requires a completely different mindset than gas car ownership, but the adjustment takes less than a week to become an automatic habit. Here's your simple winter routine that protects battery longevity while maximizing range. Recondition before every drive while plugged into your charger. This single habit delivers more benefit than everything else combined. Warm the battery pack before DC fast charging by programming your charging destination into your navigation. The vehicle automatically prepares for optimal charging speed. Use interior heating intelligently. Seat and steering wheel heaters first, then moderate cabin temperature. This maintains comfort without destroying range. Never let your state of charge drop below 20% in freezing weather. That buffer prevents emergency scenarios and protects battery health. Keep your vehicle plugged in whenever possible, even if it's just a standard 110 volt outlet. Maintaining battery temperature overnight prevents the deep cold soaking that causes morning problem. Which mistake surprised you most? Share in the comments which winter habit you'll change first and subscribe for more professional EV knowledge that saves you money while protecting your investment. Your EV has more winter potential than you realize. Now you know exactly how to unlock it.